Hi everyone, Claire here with a tutorial on how I made the binder for my Magic of Oz album and how I started to make the pages. I'm not sure how many pages I put in here, let me count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's about nine and uh, Using the Tim Holtz large binder ring meant that I could add as many or as few as I wanted, which was really good because I didn't know how many I was going to add into the book when I started. Okay, so let's get started. I took two pieces of A4 card, just black card stock, not particularly thick, and put some glue down with my ATG down the centre of one of them, and then line them up to form the cover. Then I cut some pieces of chipboard. It's two millimeter chipboard. These are just old cutouts. Um, the size of my album was nine by seven. So I cut two pieces 9x7 for the cover and also a spine piece that was 25 by 7 as well. And then I stuck those onto the card. I just put some glue on. And then, starting with the middle piece, I lined that up over the join in the two pieces of paper. Sticky side down. And then lined up the other two pieces, front and back, leaving about an eighth of an inch between the spine and the front and back covers and that allows for the book to open and close. Press them down. Okay, then I took my scissors, just cut the corners off. And just trimmed any excess off um, before I start folding the paper around the chipboard. Okay. So more gluing right around the edge now of the chipboard, ready to fold the paper over and stick it down. right around the edges of each of the pieces. The tape doesn't like to stick to the chipboard for some reason. Okay, and then across. Apologies for the really squeaky tape gun. <laughs> Okay, 
gosh, I always get stuck to it. And one across the top. Oh, missed one. Across that. And then I folded the book forwards onto the paper before pulling it tightly over the chipboard and sticking it down. Okay, we'll do the top and bottom edges first. So turn that round, fold it on itself, and then pull it tightly over onto the glue strips. And flatten out any creases. Okay. Then mine to the corners by just tucking under the end of the flaps either side and then folding the short edges over and gluing them firmly down. And the same for the other side. So just miter the edges. It gives you a really neat corner. Fold on itself to start the fold. And then pull tightly over and glue down. So that's the start of the cover. And then fold it together gives you a really neat cover. There is a join on the edge but that can be covered up later with papers, decorations, ribbons. So that is the outside of the folder. Then to make the inside I took a piece of card just slightly smaller than the width of the book. So this was cut at six and three quarter inches and a piece of black card to go over the top of it also cut at six and three quarter inches. And I've punched two holes in it and lined those holes up with, this is the Tim Holtz ring binder, the large one. And centered that on the card and punched holes through where the brads are going to go to secure it together. And then you need to fasten the spine cover onto the black card. So I'll just do that. With the very squeaky glue gun. <laughs> Position it over the holes. turn it over and it's going to go over the spine like that. I'm just going to trim it down slightly by a quarter of an inch with the scissors so that it doesn't stick out over the top and bottom edge. Okay, that's great. And then I'm going to attach on the black side the spine with the two brads. And then we're going to stick that on there, which will hold all the pages together. So, very squeaky gun again. Gluing not quite to the edge. Off the cover. And 
And then I'm going to put one strip of glue across the top and bottom of this as well. I hope. Start it off. Pull it along. I'm not brilliant at taping. <laughs> Make sure there's no glue tape sticking out and then position it over the centre of the spine and stick down. And just work the card into the um, folds to give you a neat finish. And you may need to score it just slightly, not too firmly, just to get your binder to close and the paper and the card to fold into the gaps between the two covers and the spine. There. I finished the tops and bottoms off with a little bit of the um, black soot dabber just so that it was completely. And then to finish the cover, I cut two pieces of card just slightly smaller than the actual size of the cover and then stuck them over the bare chipboard to give a really professional finish. Sizes and layered them on top of each other, sticking them along the edges to give a pocket. So let me stick those together with the very squeaky gun. So glued either side. Oh, forgot the bottom. Forwards. And then I cut another piece of black card an inch shorter than the first. And then I stuck them together. And that formed the pocket page and then I punched two holes. To decorate I cut the corners and then cut an inch strip of paper just to sit under the pocket. Cut that again. under there. So I position it evenly and then I stuck it down. And that was the start of the page. Oops. So I hope, I hope you find that useful and um, Happy scrapping.